What's up, everybody? And welcome back to A Beer A Day with TK. It's a cool fall afternoon here in Finley, Ohio. I'm getting ready to watch the Eagles play the Broncos. And I'm hanging out in the beer shed, getting ready to check out a few new beers. Now, I've been trying to do videos on the weekend because during the week I'm stuck late at work a couple days and don't have time to upload them. So I'm going to do three today. It'll be three separate videos. Um, but today I'm going to do Russian River, Pliny the Elder. I'll do this here, uh, Puddler's Row from Concha Hock and Bruin. And then... Fireball X Apple. So this is going to be an interesting series of beers where I go from maybe one of the finest in the world to probably not one of the finest. Uh, nonetheless, it's still cool to try all these. And one thing that I'm really blessed and gifted that on this program, I have a lot of people that really help me out, people that pick up beers for me, people that mail beers to me, and I'm always thrilled to be able to try the different things people acquire. So, Anderson picked this one up while he was out in California on tour not that long ago. I know Pliny the Elder may be not that hard to find in California, maybe western states, but out here in Ohio, it's impossible. I can't say I've ever seen it on the shelves anywhere. I think he said he picked it up at a Whole Foods for like five bucks or something. Um, so I guess, you know, sometimes location, location, location. Depends where you live. Anyway, thrilled to be able to give this one a shot. This is a world-class double IPA. Uh, many would probably say this is the finest double IPA in the world. Um, when you look at the ratings, this gets a hundred world-class rating on Beer Advocate. Um, the, the, I guess the drinker scores a 4.69, untapped 4.51. Now, I have had a few Russian River beers before. Again, I didn't see them out here, though. I was lucky that they got sent out to me by Pete. So I had Consecration and Intinction. Both were really good. So, you know, obviously with the scores and, and the reputation on this, I'm expecting great things. Now, one thing I will say is I know this is supposed to be drank fresh. And I do have a, each bottle has the date on it when it was brewed. So it looks like the date on this one is 9-21-21. And today is, I think it's November 15th, so it's uh, just about 60 days-ish, two months old, not very old, which is perfect, right? That's what we want. All right, I'm going with the Sam Adams glass here. As far as the color, break out my SRM chart. I would probably say maybe pale gold, verging on kind of slightly amber, but pale gold. Um, it's kind of cloudy, you can't really see through it. You get some stray bubbles coming here and there, but nothing too crazy. As far as the head, the head looks magnificent. You got a good finger and a, a little bit more. Um, nice, white, frothy head. Looks really good. Not dissipating, not going anywhere. That's just hanging about. Let's give this a sniff. Ah, before I dive into that, looks like it said this is made with Amarillo, Centennial, CTZ, and Simcoe hops. So four different hops on there. 8% ABV, 100 IBUs. Now, I will say this. You know, if you watch a program, I'm not a big IPA dude. When I first saw this, I obviously was thrilled to try it because of the reputation, but was a little intimidated because I see 100 IPUs and I know that it's rated as 100 and you're just like, man, I don't know if I'm going to dig this. It might be too hoppy for me, but the smell is quite alluring. You get a little bit of citrus, a little bit of piney hops, but it's not overpowering. It's not so, so hoppy on the nose that it's off-putting. It smells quite nice. All right. Let's give it a shot. I've been waiting to try this thing for years and was thrilled he bought it back. Thanks again, Anderson. Greatly appreciate it, my brother. Medium body. It has kind of a nice smooth texture to it, nice mouthfeel. Um, as far as taste, you get a couple of different things going on in here. Initially, I think you get a nice, nice kind of piney hops taste. Gives way to a little bit of bready malt. You definitely pick up some kind of citrusy or tropical fruit type flavors as well. Um, so, you know, I don't know what, what flavors people say they are, but a lot of times they'll say grapefruit and different, all these crazy different fruits. I do think you can tell the difference in the hops. You get the piney resinous kind of thing, which I quite like, but you do also pick up that tropical notes as well. Um, the other thing, this doesn't beat you over the head with hops. And that's amazing because I think for a lot of brewers, um, they think the answer to any IPA, double IPA, triple IPA, is just cram as much hops into it as you can, and it does make it unpalatable. This, on the other hand, is really well done, and I'm kind of surprised. Not to say that I wouldn't like it. I know it's going to be a great representation of the style, but I did fear that I personally wouldn't enjoy it, and <laughs> I have to say this is, is really good. This is probably one of the best IPAs, double IPAs, I've ever had in my life. 
Now, again, probably not a surprise. <laughs> Ratings preceded. People probably know that. This is, is really well done. Thrilled to be able to give it a shot. Pliny the Elder, um, huge thumbs up here. You come through with a really well-balanced beer. So you can pick up the different kind of hops, the, the piney versus the tropical fruit. You can pick up the, the bready malt kind of thing. And they're all working synchronously together perfectly, which a lot of people can't do. But, I mean, I guess that's why they're the kings of this style, right? Um a lot of people try to make these and, and don't really deliver. In my opinion, they tend to overdo it with the hops. This is this is really good. This is perfectly made beer. It's deserving of the 100. Not that anybody cares what I say, but it's a, a really good beer. If you're fortunate enough to try this, give it a shot. Um, you won't be disappointed. Big thumbs up, Pliny the Elder. Thanks again, Anderson. Appreciate it, man. Never would have got this one without you. If you like the videos, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit subscribe. And as always, you got any comments or questions, jump in down below. Have you been fortunate enough to try Pliny the Elder? If so, let me know what you think of it. Hey, until next time, cheers.